Oti Karan National Park is located in the north of Togo, in the Kara area. There is only one road going through this area. Not many tourists visit Togo as the main national parks are more accessible in Ghana. Social impact The Oti Karan National Park belongs to a network of nature reserves in northern Togo that has been originally considerably expanded since the 1960s. These actions were undertaken without consent and participation of the local population. Instead of gaining income from tourism and other business opportunities potentially linked to the national parks, people were removed from their land and agricultural developments were abandoned, resulting in an increase of poverty and even hunger. Additionally, wildlife, especially elephants, from the protected but not fenced areas caused damage to fields and crops in the surrounding communities. This led to antipathy by the local population against the protected areas and the wildlife. During political turmoil in 1990 this hatred broke free by massive attacks against the protected areas and mass slaughtering of animals, resulting in a major destruction of the environment. Reorganization since 1999 As a result of widespread destruction and human invasion into the protected areas, Togolese authorities reformed the park boundaries since 1999. Peripheral areas deemed too much destroyed to be re-naturalized have been excluded from the national park and officially deallocated for human development. This shrunk the size of the national park, now named the Oti Karan National Park, from 179,550 to 69,000 hectares. What remained is planned to form part of a future biosphere reserve, linked by the Oti Mandori National Park to the WAP w. Arli, Penjari protected area system in Burkina Faso, Benin, and Niger. It is, however, still threatened by settlements, cotton farming, charcoal production, and other human activities within the park boundaries. Ecotourism <inaudible> 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 Ecotourism was quite well developed in the Oti Karan National Park before 1990. A South African company invested in tourism infrastructure hotel, road, observation platforms etc. and ecotourism created monthly revenues for protected area management in the order of 50 to 60 million CFA in Oti Karan alone. At the time it was considered a regional model for protected area ecotourism development and photographs still exist of herds of elephants and other key tourist attractions in the park. Today the entire infrastructure is ruined and the ecotourism sector has not really restarted in the area of Oti Karan after the long period of socio-political troubles. Very few regional tourists arrive from neighboring countries WAP Complex Niger, Burkina Faso, Benin, but there are no adequate facilities or accommodation in Togo to encourage them to stay longer. The National Ministry of Tourism is concentrating its efforts in the Plateau region and considers it necessary for management of protected areas in the Oti Karen, Oti Mandori complex to be revitalized and for habitats and fauna to be re-established before ecotourism plans can be developed. Fauna The destructions of the 1990s resulted in a reduced faunal diversity of the Togolese national parks compared to those in neighboring Burkina Faso and Benin. An assessment in 2008 listed the following species though stating that their status is uncertain, mammals African elephant Loxodonta africana, a common sighting and attraction during the 1980s. Elephants were probably nearly extirpated in the 1990s. An aerial survey in 2003 failed to find elephants in the park. Today, sporadic occurrences of migrating individuals and groups are reported. An UNDP project from 2010 aims to re-establish a population of about 20 animals in the park. Olive baboon, Papio anubis. Tantalus monkey, Chlorocebus tantalus, often listed as Cercopithecus ethiops. Potas monkey, Erythrocebus potas. The presence of this species was confirmed by an aerial survey in 2003. Cob, Cobus cob cob. The presence of this species was confirmed by an aerial survey in 2003. 
Waterbuck the presence of this species was confirmed by an aerial survey in 2003. Red-flanked diker Common diker the presence of this species was confirmed by an aerial survey in 2003. African buffalo Hippopotamus Hippopotamus amphibious Warthog Phacohorus africanus africanus the presence of this species was confirmed by an aerial survey in 2003 West African lion Panthera leo senegalensis individuals of the lion has been reported sporadically for the last time in 2005 there is no permanent lion population in Togo crested porcupine Hystrix cristata Striped ground squirrel, Zurus Eusurus Erythropus Erythropus. Four-toed hedgehog, Adelarix albiventris. Birds. About 214 species of birds have been recorded, including black-crowned crane, Balearica pavonina. Goliath heron, Ardea goliath. Gray heron, Ardea cinerea. Pink-backed pelican, Pelicanus rufescens. Violet turaco, Musophaga violacea. Red-throated bee-eater, Merops bullocki. Bearded barbet, Libius dubius. Pied-winged swallow, Hirundo leucosoma. Rufus cysticola, Cysticola rufus. Oriole warbler, Hypergerus atriceps. Black-cap babbler, Turdoides rhinworti. Purple starling, Lamproderni purpureus. Bronze-tailed starling, Lamproderni chalcurus. White-crowned robin chat, Cassypha albicapia. White-fronted black chat, Myrmecosicla albifrons. Splendid sunbird, Cinereus coccinogastris. Huglin's masked weaver, Placeus huglini. Red-winged pytilia, Pytilia phenacoptera. Bar-breasted firefinch, Lagenosticta rufopicta. Black-faced firefinch, Lagenosticta larvata. Lavender waxbill, Estrilda carulescens. Exclamatory paradise wida, Vigua interjecta. Togo Paradise Wida, Vigua togonsis. Brown Rumped Bunting, Emberiza affini. Reptiles. West African Crocodile, Crocodilus sucus, formerly listed as Nile Crocodile, C. Nilodicus. <laughs>